We got a wood delivery. Yes, we have a wood delivery. It's, I guess it's technically our first one of the fall. Fall started the other day. Did fall start on your birthday or is that the day before? Fall just started. It was 22nd or 23rd, I don't remember. I might get killed. I don't have my seatbelt on. <laughs> and then... PC the, police? This? What, 88? 1988. It doesn't beep and carry on if you don't have no, a bus. It, it doesn't care. <laughs> it doesn't care. It doesn't care. Yeah, you can ride with it your seatbelt and it doesn't care. It's an 88 Ford F250. Yes. It's a light duty. Um, they made a heavy duty and a light duty. 
This Just is like these seat belts. You got a light duty and a heavy duty. This is a lariat. Ready? <laughs> Help the old man. I can't. I only got one hand. <laughs> okay, you're in. Well, 1988 F-250, uh, small 302 engine, so it's a lighter duty one. We had some heavy duty ones, they had uh, larger rear axles. The neat thing about this one is the reason I've hung on to it. One, it was my original company truck. And two, it's got leaf spring suspension yeah. in the front. Yeah, that's right. So you don't see that unless you get into probably a F550, 650 now. Probably. But it makes the ride entirely old school. Yeah, didn't my 94 Jeep have one of, have leaf springs? Uh, the, the, the red one? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I do like leaf springs. They are, it is a different ride. All right, my way. So this is a repeat customer from the last couple of years. Um, the front royal. Oh, three loads and three hours. Oh, was that them? Wow. Three loads, three hours. I'll, I'll three see if I can... Four hours. I don't know what it was either, but I will see if I can... Um, that video and I'll put it up in, in the you know the whatever that is the end cards or end screen end screen I'll put it up in the end screen so you all can see that video we did three loads three hours yeah we've swapped from splitting wood to delivering wood just that quick uh, just too muddy Oh my gosh, it's muddy. We've had rain for a week, and, and that didn't have anything to do with Hurricane Helena. And yeah, that one day it was seven inches. Yeah, so. so Hurricane Helena is coming into the Florida coast. Um, all you people in Florida, I'm really sorry. And it'll be in tonight or tomorrow, and then it's supposed to migrate up to the Ohio Valley, so I assume that's gonna get Ohio wood burner. And then it's supposed to with another low and come across the country and I don't know we're going to end up with more rain I guess well it could, it could really hit Rick Rick's out yeah, door that's there. right so it, they're calling for a lot in um, obviously Florida but also Georgia Del. and South Carolina and I, I don't know it might get oh yeah it might get Dell Dell might get my son and children over there yeah, maybe. But I do believe that Rick and Bucky, Georgia. Bucky's, I think Bucky's in North Carolina. So in North Carolina, Carolina tractor works. So. Yeah. I think it's going to be more of a Florida, Georgia, <coughs> South Carolina until it comes up into the Ohio Valley. She watches Max Velocity all the yes, time. Yes, I watch Max Velocity on YouTube. He does um, live streams when there's extremely dangerous weather like hurricanes and tornadoes and then he does updates and right now he lives in Florida so right now we're getting a lot of updates out of Florida and of course we have a daughter in Florida and the Pensacola area it's supposed to come in between Tampa and Destin and she is 70 miles west of Destin so yeah you know what makes this one so dangerous is that that gulf is warm Ooh, very and warm. Golf warm, and they're just, it's just intensifying. Yeah, it's going to be a high three, maybe a four when it hits. Praying for all those people in Florida, along the coast. She is what six, eight, ten miles from the beach. Six miles. I don't know exactly how far from Pensacola Beach she is. We're talking about fifteen yeah. feet surge, storm surge. So. And Dante, plant savvy. He works for the county in the uh, building and com planning commission at, and they're saying that um, if it's bad, they call out 
everybody, everybody goes into the field. Uh, he has not been called to the field yet. He's been called to the field before, but he has not been called to the field yet. I think for Hurricane Sally, he was called to the field. You mean out in the field? Yep, out in the field helping, yeah. Uh -huh. We'll be going to Paul Bunyan this year. Um, Paul Bunyan, somebody asked us about the Halverson. Our Halverson 120. We saw our Halverson 120 at the Paul Bunyan show, and I think it was 2017. And I believe that's the year that we went to, up to AJ Shavers in, uh, in Pennsylvania and purchased our Halverson from him. Somebody thought that the Halverson 120 was some sort of perk we got. No, no, we've had that and been using that Halverson 120 since I believe 2017. Wow, I think that thing is seven years old, doesn't it? Wow. AJ Shaver will know better than I do. It's Shaver's specialty equipment. No, no, no. No? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh-uh.